Hello guys, welcome to part two, how to paint a tyrant and termagant with a Kraken scheme. So here we're gonna continue. I use Buckman's Glow now to highlight the weapon. Highlight the edges, focus on where the light is coming from, means paint the top and paint the edges which are exposed to the light. So next step is to use Cadian Flesh Tone. And highlight again the very edges. I was very rough here and um, I wasn't satisfied with the result so um, I used too much of this paint so I used uh, Buckman's Glow again or Tusker Fur I don't know um, I will show you later on and um, yeah to correct some of these areas Now I used Abaddon Black thinned down massively to uh, give this area a shade. I'm very sorry that I haven't uh, seen that my camera doesn't doesn't want to uh, focus here correctly. Um, as an alternative, you can use Nan Oil. So, yes, it was Buckman's Glow I used uh, once more to, yeah, to correct this um, mm, Canyon Flesh Tone I used too much. And now it, now it looks like uh, I wanted it to have. So now we uh, need to focus on the skin areas. I focused on highlighting only the top exposed to the light with the Screaming Skull. Um, Games Workshop recommends only to do the edges with a Screaming Skull, but I thought this um, yellow tone of uh, the skin I didn't like it so much, so uh, I said, okay, just make it a little brighter so you have more contrast to the carapace. It's up to you what you like. Just, um, just, just look, have a look at the uh, the books of the Games Workshop, how they look, and you will find the right scheme for you or the right mixture of the scheme. So now I use White Scar to uh, highlight the areas around the vents and to edge highlight everything else um, but just the edges not um, not to brighten up every area just the edges here. And when you use Screaming Skull before, like I used it here, and you make this, uh, you, you do this uh, little highlights for um, uh, with the white scar, you can correct this. When it's just the glaze, it's not easy to correct it. So this is another reason why I've done this. So now we use Caraba Crimson and I wanted to give uh, the mouth um, a red tone. 
this was more an experiment I made here and I just wanted to have a look I used a small uh, detail uh, a detail brush for this and um, yeah, this is when it's dry I had I said okay that's not enough I just wanted to make it darker so I used noun oil uh, and I hope this uh, red tone will stay there and the noun oil will not cover all of it I also try to define the fangs a little bit more or the, the these uh, teeth of this tyranid and I also darkened the eyes to have a little bit more contrast when I paint the eyes later on. So now we're gonna use Aerial Yellow to paint the weapon's eye and I also painted the eyes of this uh, termagant. You can use a darker yellow if you want to, so you have a little bit more contrast. Um, because as I painted this um, to, uh, this is one base color and one highlight later on after this step um, I thought okay this is not so much contrast maybe a darker yellow tone or an orange tone would be also great so now I used flash gets yellow and it's very hard to see the contrast here so that's what I meant. Now I use white scar to make the uh, or to paint the, um, the teeth or the fangs. And to place a little dot in the corner of the eye to simulate some kind of reflection. As you see I leave out some of the darker areas. I just painted the top of these fangs. And the last step is to use Abaddon Black to paint a pupil for the weapons environment. And this is the final result. As I said before, maybe I can do it better, I don't know. This was the first time I painted this kind of scheme. So please let me know what you're thinking about this video and place a comment down below and um, if you have suggestions how to make it easier maybe just write it down so the others can see it as well and uh, thank you very much for watching again please rate this video thumbs up if you liked it of course this helps a lot and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so far 
And yeah, I wish you have fun with painting, wish you a very nice day and uh, till the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye bye.